Good morning and happy Monday. Most of the snow has come to an end across northeast Kansas. We're still tracking a few snowflakes down south. This is Max Track Radar. We are currently dry in Topeka, Manhattan, Junction City, and Lawrence. But near I-35 and points to the south, still tracking some light to moderate snow here in Coffee County, close to Burlington, Gridley, and Leroy. A few flakes linger in southern Lyon County, mainly south of Emporia, close to Hartford and Olpe. This will continue to track away. Let me take you into downtown Topeka. That is where we find storm track meteorologist Kyle Borkett. He is live in our storm tracker this morning, giving us an update on road conditions. Kyle? Well, after a winter in air quotes, of course, we're finally tracking winter across northeast Kansas. One to three inches of snow fell across the area late last night into this morning. Now, we've been keeping you updated on the latest road conditions on this President's Day. Some folks do have work in school, while others do not. Take it easy on the roadways. Here we are at 7th and McVicker. Some of the snow is packed down on the ground in downtown Topeka. I've got my handy dandy snow saber out, measuring just under two inches. Now, the official uh, measurement in Topeka is 1.4 inches at the Billard Airport. We were actually just driving on Interstate 70. The main arteries, US 75, even 24, a OK at this stage of the game. In fact, they're mostly wet. A lot of product out there from all the snow plows across the area doing a very good job. We even visited the Public Works Department, and not a snowplow to be found there. That's because they're all out and about. But, of course, there was some ice accumulation south of Interstate 70 last night with the band of sleet that moved in first. So just take it easy. Some of the uh, roads could be slick in some spots as the crews are out and about early on this President's Day. Back to you. Kyle, thank you. He was at 7th and Van Buren in downtown Topeka. Those side streets, not very good. They're snow packed. Definitely take your time this morning. Get to work and school safely. Winter weather advisory continues down by I-35 till 9 a.m. Here in Shawnee County, we are no longer under that winter weather advisory. This whole storm system is moving away from Kansas. We're going to see some sunshine late this afternoon. Here's your day planner for today. You're high near 30 degrees. I'm going to keep it cloudy through lunch, but after lunch should see some breaks in those clouds. Here's a live shot from our tire, uh, tower cam. There is US 24. As Kyle mentioned, uh, the highways and interstates, really good shape. KDOT did an awesome job. You can see some pavement there, but do watch out on bridges and overpasses. They could be a little slick. 14 degrees, your current temperature in Topeka with a north wind. 14 in Manhattan, 14 in Junction City. It is 15 in Hiawatha. Factoring in that breeze, it feels like 4 degrees in Topeka. So if you do have plans to go sledding with the kids today, make sure everyone's bundled up. This is a very light, fluffy snow, easy to shovel, good for sledding, but you're not going to be able to make a snowman. This whole storm system tracking to our east. Nasty winter storm for our friends in the Tennessee River Valley. Some portions of Kentucky could see a foot of snow today. For us, we're going to leave it dry for the rest of this afternoon. Partly cloudy skies. This is future track. But tomorrow, I'm tracking another burst of snow possible. Let me show you that. We'll pause it tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Could see some snow in northeast Kansas continuing into the early afternoon. Maybe an inch of snow tomorrow. And Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller, he's in tonight. He'll be tracking that for you. And we'll have the Storm Tracker back out live tomorrow morning, giving you an update on road conditions. So another round of snow possible tomorrow. And then we'll quiet things down for the rest of the work week. Today, 30 degrees, slowly clearing skies, chilly and slick. 18 tonight, mostly cloudy. Tuesday morning, could start to see that snow arrive. Here's a seven day forecast. Tomorrow, you're high at 30. We're tracking a 50% chance of some more flakes. Wednesday, sunny and cold, 25. Thursday, partly cloudy, 30. Friday, up to 40 degrees. And then we're tracking another storm system in this weekend. That one could potentially be more significant. Something we'll be watching and monitoring for you, so stay tuned. Natalie? Early voting begins.